Let's take a look now at the chords that we're gonna use for This Is Amazing Grace. And because of just the feel rhythmically of this song, uh, we keep them pretty open, and so the voicings that we'll use uh, will be pretty consistent throughout the song. So let's take a look at these. We're gonna start off with G, that big G, it's a uh, open sound, and we're not gonna play it sweetly, that's for sure. So we're gonna be uh, taking our second finger up on the sixth string, third fret, okay? And with that, as we've done with other positions of G, we're gonna use that finger, the back of it here, to mute this fret, the uh, third fret of the fifth string. So as you're pressing down on that, that G, try to block the sound of that fifth string, okay? And then it opens up, and now we come all the way down to third and fourth finger on first and second string in that third fret. Kind of that ringing pedal tone sound. Then we get a nice big open G, all right? That's what we use. Uh, very quick and easy movement to get to the C2. All we do is we take that finger uh, that was on the G bass note, sixth string, drop it down to uh, the fret below, the string below, and you're on the fifth string, third fret. You wanna kinda place your strum, and then also sometimes I'll use my thumb to block off that sixth string so that my strum begins on the fifth string and I get a nice open C sound. Again, you'll notice in that sound, I'm using that second finger to mute out the string below. Really nice open C2 that we get there, okay? Third, fourth finger, they're not gonna move for the whole song, so we're just gonna move around for bass notes. Let's take our first finger, place it on that uh, fourth string, second fret, and then second finger is on fifth string on the second fret. And we can play this fully open all strings. Remember keeping third and fourth in that spot. There's your E minor right there, okay? So what I like to do actually is to go from a C, that C5, and then I'll just slide it down to the fret below, add the second finger, and there's your E minor, okay? Now for the D chord. So again, with this D chord, we're gonna start our strum on string four, and I just actually play what is a D sus chord, a D sus four. And so I'll take my first finger, put it on the third string, second fret, and beginning on that fourth string with my strum, there goes uh, that D sus sound. What that means is that I wanna avoid, and if I can, even mute off sixth and fifth strings. And there's my D sus sound. Okay, so you're gonna loop these chords around in a, in a cycle just with all the progressions of this song. So again, you've got your G, and then move to that C2, okay? And then you go to that E minor, slide down for that, nice and open, and then the D, and we're substituting a D sus sound for that. Gotta get all four strings in there, and you've got your D sus sound. And that's your uh, chords that you're gonna use for the song, This Is Amazing Grace.